13 Fox Hunt, Not Long. This film captures a fox hunt with hounds and horses. Huntsmen, hounds, riders and spectators gathering. The riders wear jackets, jock spurs, boots, hats and ties. Riders pay a fee before the start of the hunt to take part. The fee is known as a cap. The riders arrive early to the meet, allowing plenty of time to mount up. The hounds are known as black and tans because of their coat colours. Huntsmen, hounds and mounted followers moving off and heading to the countryside. The weather was dry and overcast. The ground was soft. The hill of Knocklong is a small village surrounded by rich grazing land. The hunt adheres to a code of conduct that covers such items as don't block roads, ensure any damage is repaired, close gates, refrain from disturbing livestock and obey the huntsmen. Riders waiting as the huntsmen and hounds search for a fox in a wooded area known as a cover. Horses jumping an open drain between fields. Hunting takes place on private land and depends on the farmer's goodwill and generosity. The hounds are sent into rough and bushy areas known as covers, where foxes rest during the day. The horses and ponies are groomed to keep their coat, mane, tail and hooves clean and healthy. Saddles and bridles are polished to maintain and improve their appearance. Horseshoes are used to protect the horses hooves as the hooves will wear down faster than they would in nature. Riders keep to the headlands to avoid damaging crops or cultivated land. Those following the hunt on horseback are known as the field. The huntsman is responsible for the hounds and uses a horn and his vice to communicate with the hounds and followers. There are a number of horn and vice calls. The following are examples. The horn call, known as blowing away, used when the fox is running away and the chase starts is Vice call, known as tally ho, used when a fox is seen in the opening, is. Hunts have a crew that repair any damage fences to make them stock proof. Horses usually graze in paddocks by day and are kept in stables at night and during inclement weather to protect them from the elements. The countryside is sparsely populated and features agricultural, farms and bungalows.
hounds track the fox by following his scent trail, keeping their nose near the ground. Hunting takes place during the winter months, when livestock are in farmyards and there are not any crops in the fields. The Irish Hunter Horse, also known as the Irish Sport Horse, is a mixed breed between a workhorse and a thoroughbred that produces a strong and athletic horse suitable for carriage driving, venting, show jumping, dressage and horse racing over jumps, also for hunting. Thank you. The height of a horse is measured from the ground to the ridge between the shoulders. The unit of measurement is the hand, which is equal to four inches. The countryside is mainly dairy, and the boundaries between the fields and farms are mostly open drains and banks. The hunt was attended by 75 mounted followers, 20 hounds and a large number of foot and car followers. Fox hunting is a countryside tradition a community occasion, which is hundreds of years old. Followers get to enjoy the day, meet friends and socialize. Nowadays, the riders are mainly farmers and their children. There are 41 packs of hounds in Ireland. Generally, 50 to 100 riders follow the hounds. Hunts usually start at 11 a.m. and finish around 3 p.m. Horses jumping an earth bank and timber fence. Following the hunt on foot is a great way to experience the outdoor life and feel alive, taking in the fresh air, smells and sounds of the countryside. <laughs>